Hey there, let's take a look at wildfires. Causes of wildfires. Fires require the fire triangle to burn. Heat, oxygen and fuel. Wildfires may be started by natural igni ignition, like lightning or lava, or by people. Human caused fires. Wildfires may be caused by human activity, such as campfires burning out of control or people dropping cigarette ends. Sometimes fires are started by arsonists. Fires in urban areas are usually reported quickly and tackled by firefighters. Wildfires in Greece happened in 2018. Wildfires in mainland Greece in 2018 were more severe than usual. Low rainfall over the winter left soils dry. There was not enough water to fully recharge the soils. This was followed by a summer heat wave and drought. Strong winds meant the fire spread rapidly and threatened towns and tourist resorts, resulting in over 70 deaths. Natural fires. These are usually started by lightning. Some areas have more electrical storms and so are more prone to this ignition source. A large storm could light, ignite several fires. Another natural ignition source is lava from volcanic eruption. Lightning is not enough to start a fire, so you need to start in, in an area. You need to strike in an area where there isn't vegetation to provide fuel for a fire. Fires caused by lightning strikes may happen in remote areas and burn for a while before being lit. Let's quickly recap that. How are natural fires normally started? They are usually started by lightning, but sometimes can be started by lava as well. Lightning is not enough to start a fire on its own. It needs to strike in an area where there is vegetation to provide fuel for a fire. Fires caused by lightning strikes may happen in remote areas and burn for a while before being noticed. Now let's take a look at the primary and secondary impacts of wildfires. Primary impacts happen as the fire is burning, whereas secondary impacts happen later. Secondary impacts can include jobs and income being lost if crops and timber have been destroyed. There could also be an increased risk of floods, as there is no vegetation to absorb water. Long-term insurance premiums in the area can increase. Natural systems will eventually recover from the environmental impacts of wildfires, but this takes time. Environments which have lost vegetation are prone to soil erosion. The primary impacts occur as the fire is burning and can include loss of life, property, crops, timber, wildlife and livestock. Toxic gases and particulates are released, which affects air quality and health. The soil may be harmed, causing damage to its structure and nutrient content. Let's quickly uh, recap all of that. The primary impacts of wildfires occur as the fire is burning and can include loss of life, property, crops, timber, wildlife and livestock. The secondary impacts are jobs and income being lost if crops and timber have been destroyed. Increased flood risk as there's no vegetation to absorb water. Long-term insurance premiums in the area could increase. And environments which have lost vegetation are prone to soil erosion. Let's quickly look at the wildfires in Greece again. Their low rainfall over the winter left soils dry and there was not enough water to fully recharge the soils. There was a summer heat wave and drought. Strong winds meant the fire spread rapidly and threatened towns and tourist resorts. And there were over 70 deaths. 